You remember how I said I hated demonic justice and I hated a little d demonic dog? Well, in this week's episode of Kami Got Kill in under like three minutes, it managed to make me hate demonic justice way more than I did. And honestly, I didn't even think that was possible. I, I did. Because what demonic justice just did in this episode, in right at the beginning, pissed me off so fucking much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm about to let you know. Demonic Justice ate the corpse of Chelsea. To just make the death even worse, okay? Of Chelsea, after she had her head put on a pike. Demonic Justice decides to feed the corpse of the supposed sinner and evil, corrupted evil person to Koro. I want to see Demonic Justice die. I I'm saying it. I, I want her to fucking die. Honestly, I'm almost half tempted to do look up spoilers to see if that bitch dies. I I'm not joking. I'm half tempted to look up spoilers because I cannot stand Demonic Justice. She needs to die. Feeding the corpses of my favorite characters to freaking her dog. That, that pisses me off beyond belief. That really, really makes me mad. Very, very fucking mad. Yes, Esdes dissected Chelsea's corpse, but she didn't do it to when Chelsea was technically alive. Technically, didn't split her in pieces. Which, still, it's kind of fucked up what Esdes did, but Esdes was doing it to find out information, which is understandable from that standpoint. But, what Demonic Justice did cross that line. She, she doesn't even give the death of her enemy a proper burial. She feeds it to a fucking dog, her Tegu. That crossed the line. It's one thing trying to find information out and trying to figure out what you can do to have an advantage on your enemy, and then it's another when you're just so fucking messed up in the head and twisted that you want to feed a corpse of your dead enemy to your dog. So, past that entire bit of the beginning of this episode, that just made me have so much rage towards Demonic Justice. I saw the ending preview of this episode, and I saw that it looks like mine and Tatsumi are going to be fighting Demonic Justice next week. I... I pray, I pray so fucking much she dies. Oh my god. If there's ever a character I've ever wanted to die, it's definitely Demonic Justice. I pray she will die next week. Okay. So. We get a lot of action and fighting going on once again in this week's episode of Akami Got Kill. It's a pretty basic episode, mainly set up for what I'm guessing is to come. Like you have it to where, you know, Night Raid has made it to this certain Pacific city to where they're surveying it, looking out different routes, escape routes and stuff like that to where they can take down the main, like, I guess, minister of this city. And at the exact same time, you have it to where Esdes and her Jaegers are setting up to defend the person they're supposed to protect. And so that's pretty much what this episode is. It also introduces these other characters, like these four different characters are called like demons or whatever. I forget the exact full name, it's a long ass name. But they're called these demon things, and whatever they are, they supposedly drunk the broth of the Kraken or whatever. Like the broth of this lake, the Kraken. And the thing was, is from drinking this broth, they were able to control any part of their body. They had, like, body modification. Like, you had one of the demons that were fighting the Akame in this episode that supposedly could manipulate any part of its body. Like, for instance, it could spread out, like, different... I, I don't know what the fuck that was. It looked like he was expanding his body, like something you'd see from Majin Buu or something. But, I mean, it's pretty weird for what you saw from that dude using against the Akame, because it wasn't a Tegu, it was just body modification. And then you had another person that supposedly had, like, quick like strength like he had uh, tremendous strength on his body like he could defend like he had an iron body or something and he's trying to protect against Raba's Freds this episode and then you have this other girl that supposedly could make her like freaking sweat go out of control I bet she needs a lot of deodorant I, I want to say right now she probably needs a lot of deodorant for that amount of sweat she has but anyways she starts sweating uncontrollably and she puts it all over the Freds to where Raba can't really cut her with the Freds so, for the most part, all the body modifications are pretty interesting and intriguing, but at the end of the day, they got fucking wrecked by Night Raid. They, they, they got wrecked. But, of course, they better get freaking wrecked. The only characters I want to see being able to kill Night Raid, honestly, is the Jaegers. Because the Jaegers are freaking insanely strong. I could see the Jaegers kill Night Raid, but, I mean, these little fodder people that don't even have Tegus, no. There's no way in hell that they, they should kill Night Raid. So, I'm kind of glad... I'm kind of glad that, you know, Night Raid at the end of the day won in this episode because they need a little bit more wins under their belt after what's been happening in these past couple episodes. Oh, yes. I was freaking scared this episode. I thought Robin was actually going to die this episode. When I saw him get cornered and he was getting pinned up and all that and you see, like, he's getting choked by that girl, I thought he was going to die. I really thought he was going to die. 
I, I was just almost 100% certain. I'm like, oh my god, don't fucking die this episode. We don't need another fucking death one after another. Like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with Rama dying. And then you see how he stabs her in the back with two daggers. So, thank God. Thank God he, he's not dead. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I, I'm really happy about this episode. Oh, yes. There's one other thing at the end of this episode. You have a little bit of setup with Mine and Tatsumi. You start to see, like, a little bit of bickering between each other. They had a little awesome romance moment between each other. And that's pretty freaking cute. I, I thought that entire scene was very quiet. How they were just bickering, talking arguing with each other, talking about shopping and stuff like that, how they were both shallow. That was just an enjoyable freaking moment. And I love that dude, the Peace Pathwalker, whatever, whatever that dude was. The dude that came in at the end, he supposedly said like, oh, you two are meant for each other. And I'm like, <laughs> that's pretty good. Ugh. Now, Sunderde and Tatsumi, that, that, that's awesome. That, that's pretty freaking awesome. The episode, for the most part, is a pretty damn good episode. It is. The animation looks nice when there's a lot of fighting going on in this episode. The music is fucking great. I actually want to compliment the music. I've noticed some new soundtracks that have been added in the recent episodes of A Kami Got Kill. Like, in the, you know, some songs we haven't actually even heard in the first half of A Kami Got Kill. We're hearing new songs, and it sounds really awesome with these new fight scenes, especially with the fight between Akame and, you know, that demon dude that was manipulating his body. I love that entire scene. I love the music in that, and the atmosphere looked really damn nice, and so did the animation. It was very crisp, and it looked great. So, yeah, that's pretty much the majority of this week's episode. Like I said, it was just a setup episode for I guess like, upcoming events to come. Demonic Justice better fucking die. If she does not die, I'm going to be, oh, I'll, I'll be pissed. I, I am going to be pissed, because you're killing off all my characters I care about. Like, you kill off a lot of good characters, like a comic guy kill is. But if they keep Demonic Justice fucking alive... No, no, no. Here's what'll piss me off, actually. If they kill off Wave, they kill off Wave from the Jaegers, but they decide to keep Demonic Justice alive, I am going to be pissed. Oh, I'll be so fucking pissed. Oh, my God. I'll be pissed, man. I'll be pissed. So bad. <laughs> I'll be pissed. So, anyways. <sighs> a lot of hope for next week. A lot of hope. Let, let's all cheer. Let's all chant for Demonic Justice to die. I, I, Like I said, I want this to happen. I want it to happen. So yeah, you all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.